sir. Yes, sir. What it do, gang? Man, welcome back, man. Happy, happy to be back. Y'all know me. I'm your host, Chandler Blake, a.k.a. Goose. Y'all know why I'm here, bringing you another edition of the starting five for DraftKings and FanDuel, all right? Phew, man, glad to be back, man. How y'all doing out there? I don't know about y'all, but I definitely needed that day off. I didn't do no DFS yesterday, none. I had to recharge. We back today, man, ready to lock and load and get ready for this last little NBA stretch run, you know, and let's see if we can continue to be profitable as we have been as of late. All right, if you're new to the channel, man, you in the right spot. It's the best kept secret in daily fantasy sports, man. Just do yourself a favor, go on and hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell on so you can be here rocking with us every day when the videos drop. Also, y'all know, man. Let's hit let's hit that like button. Let's be kind to one another today, man. Starting with me. <laughs> hit that like button, man. All right. Let's get to it. At the uh at the point guard. Well, first of all, let me get this out of the way. It's a 13 game, man. You gonna have to be able to be at looking at this to about at least 9 30 man if you got to cut out early man just do you one lineup this ain't the night to be multiple entry and whenever i gotta cut out early or something like that i just do one lineup it's much easier to manage one from your phone than you're trying to do multiple trust me i know been there before all right so stay locked in man know you're gonna be waiting on tons of news Anything can happen. Literally anything. It's the last week of the season. Literally anything can happen. Trust me. This is this, this probably going to be a hectic week for you. If, you. if this is your first time playing NBA DFS, this week probably get a little hectic for you. But I, let's talk about it, man. At the point guard, I want to look at De'Aaron Fox. I just love this price tag, 7700 the price just continues to fall. The play is sporadic. It's up and down, man. He going to dud, then boom, dud, then boom. Like, I'm going to take all the shots I can right here at 7,700, especially in this matchup at, against the New Orleans Pelicans. I'm going to be heavy, heavy on De'Aaron Fox. Unless some news happens right now, 7,700, love this matchup, love this game environment. Definitely should be a high-scoring game back and forth. Give me De'Aaron Fox at 7,700. Huge discount on him right now. This is a huge discount. I know, Like I said, I know the play's been spotty, but come on, man. The kid was pushing 9K. For most of the season, like now you get them at seventy seven hundred in this matchup against the Pelicans. What do I sign up? All right, let's do that. At the shooting guard, I'm gonna look at your boy Dejounte Murray, man, seventy six hundred. Trey Young is questionable, so I'm definitely, definitely gonna love this play, especially with a lot of other people. If if Trey if Trey Young is out here, but the beauty of this play, he's still in play. If Trey Young plays, so I have no problem going to him either way. Seventy six hundred in this matchup against the Bulls. It's a pace down matchup for him, but it's still a fairly high total on this game, and it's expected to be pretty competitive. And at that price tag, Dejounte Murray doesn't have to go crazy to give you a solid return that you can use. And the fact that you know that he can go crazy is still there, especially if Trey Young is out. It's going to increase. Give me some Dejounte Murray right here at seventy six hundred. Now, let's get us a little value in here, and I'm going to stay in that same game, and I'm going to continue to play Sadiq Bay. He has just been very solid. He's pretty much dropping you 30 every night, and the price went down 100 on him. Like, he's a solid value right now as the slate sits. It's probably going to be better value to open up, but you definitely can keep, keep Sadiq Bay in your player pool at 4,800, man. Solid value here. And it's going to uh, be even better value play if Trey Young is out. That's going to open up some more shots for him, a few more possessions with the ball in his hand. So I like getting a Sadiq Bay regardless of whether Trey Young plays or not. Definitely going to love him a little more if Trey Young is out. All right. Coming at the power forward, I'm going to look at Jason Tatum right here. 10 4. I love this price tag over here on DK. Nice game. Wonder what. One of the better games of the night, just competitive-wise. I can't wait to watch this one in particular. Jason Tatum going against the 76ers here. 10-4, love the price tag. And a bonus added in that Jalen Brown is questionable. If Jalen Brown misses, you already know, man. Just sign me up for Jason Tatum. Going to get his matchup against the 76ers. 
I know it's a little paced down spot. It's gonna be a slower paced game. Sixers have a pretty solid defense, but a solo Tatum man in this matchup. When the Celtics want to continue, they want to show they dominate the same way they dominated the Bucks last game. They want to come out here and dominate these seventy sixes too to show them like, yeah, we here for the playoffs. So I'm definitely interested in seeing this game, and I like Jason Tatum at ten four. You know he's a guy that can absolutely fill it up, give you everything. That tray ball is falling. He could get. 12, 13, three-point attempts, man. Get you some Jason Tatum at 10-4. Love this matchup, whether Jalen Brown plays or not. But if Jalen Brown is out, you already know, man. Lock and load Jason Tatum, right? And then coming in at the center, another value piece I have my eye on. We're going to scroll down here and get the four. I'm going to look at Kai Jones. 4K going against the Toronto Raptors here. Now, it should be uh, Nick Richards should be back and Mark Williams should be out in this particular one. But you also have the fact that P.J. Washington is out. We could see Kai Jones start here, as Toronto is uh, does have some size in the front court. So you could get a case where Kai Jones start here at 4K with no P.J. Washington, man. I like him. He's an athletic, rangy kid. He's highly involved in the game, so he can pick up a lot of uh, fantasy points for you in a myriad of ways. I'm, I like getting the Kai Jones. He can fill up the stat sheet. High energy. He should see 30-plus minutes here regardless of if it's a blowout or not, man. That's the beauty of this play. Give me all of the Kai Jones right here at 4K, man. It's probably going to be a little chalky, but I'm perfectly fine with it. It's good chalk. Get you all the Kai Jones you want on today's slate. All right? There you have it, man. You're starting five on DraftKings. De'Aaron Fox, DeJounte Murray, Sadiq Bay, Jason Tatum, and Kai Jones. Let's go look at FanDuel and see what I'm feeling over there, all right? At the top, man, give me Jamal Murray, 7,900. Love the matchup against the Houston Rockets. I Now, Jokic is questionable. I personally think he misses once again because obviously missing these couple of games, is some, it's obviously something wrong with them. They don't need them in this spot here to beat these Houston Rockets. They can beat them without them, trust me. So I think they continue to let them rest here and get uh, fully healthy as the playoffs start next week. So I like getting the Jamal Murray here. I'm going to like getting to those Nuggets guys once again. They're going to be kind of popular too, but they should be. It's a great matchup against the Houston Rockets, and they're all solid plays. My first, my favorite is Jamal Murray, though, 7,900. Expect him to just lead and control this offense with no Jokic. Give me all the Jamal Murray at 7,900. Come in and shoot guard. The thumbnail, DeJounte Murray, man, staying with him. No need for any more elaborate breakdown. I just told you, it's a, it's a nice game against the Bulls, and you may get him without Trey Young. It's just going to be a lock play if Trey Young sits. At the shooting guard, I want to look at Anthony Edwards. Now, this is another injury-dependent play. I only want him if if Cat is out. Now, we got Cat questionable in this spot. If Carl Anthony Towns sit, definitely sign me up for Anthony Edwards, man. He just... It just unlocks him when Cat is out. So when Cat is in there, man, I, I just stay away from Anthony Edwards. That's why his price is falling like that, especially over there on DK, because he, he, he's not the same. You saw how he played. He was playing in the beginning of the year it, with, with Cat in there. It's right back to the same thing, man. I do not want him if Cat plays. But if Cat is out here, you can give me all the Anthony Edwards. He will be the primary scorer, man. He gets nice action off that pick and roll between Conley and Gobert, man. He should benefit from some of those open looks at three. I like Anthony Edwards here at 8,500. And you know at any moment he can just take over the game, man. He definitely has a monster 60-point upside here in this spot going against the Brooklyn Nets, man. Give me Anthony Edwards only if Carl Anthony Towns is out, though. All right? At the power four, I want to go back to that Bulls and Hawks game, man. I like John Collins right here at 5,400. Very solid play, man. He's just been moseying along. He hasn't really crushed. But the thing I like, last game we saw him get up to 33 minutes. So they know those those so we know those minutes are there for him to have. If he can get up to 33, 34 minutes in this game against the Bulls that's expected to be competitive and may and may not have Trey Young at 5,400, which should give him some more shot opportunities, man. I'm gonna like getting to John Collins. If he can get 34, 35 minutes in this spot, man, I think he can give you definitely give you a score worth having at 5,400, especially if Trey Young is out, man. Get you some John Collins here. Nice double double threat here in this spot. Hopefully he can find Fall into a block, maybe luck into a steal here. But give me some John Collins at 5,400. And coming in at the center, man, Nick Richards, 5,200. I'm expecting him to get the start. As they said, they will rotate him. They may play Mark Williams this game. 
regardless just because they down bodies. But I expect Nick Richards to get the start in here just based off what they said and what they had been doing the past couple of games. So Nick Richards should be in the starting lineup here. I like this price tag at 5,200. He's definitely a double-double threat right here in this spot. He should see as much run as he want to as well, regardless if it's a blowout or not. The Hornets are just extremely shorthanded, so he's going to probably see as many minutes as he can handle. I like him in this spot going against the Raptors. I right, get you some Nick Richards. There you have it, just starting five on FanDuel. Nick Richards, John Collins, Anthony Edwards, DeJounte Murray, and Jamal Murray. Get you some exposure to these guys. Get them in your player pool, man. If you want to join the Patreon fan, well, I'm sorry, all the premium Discord, it's all through the Patreon link down below, man. I show my lineups. I sh uh, we do 20 max builds. I run through my player pool, all of the above. I personally help you build your lineups. You got interest in that? Hit that Patreon link, all right? It's going to do it for us here today, man. Y'all know the motto. Chances make champions. Y'all green up. I'll see y'all tomorrow, all right? Let's get it.